Solar buyback rates, what are they and what are you going to get paid? Today we're going to help you understand buyback rates, import export meters and energy retailers. When you get solar installed on your home, you'll also need an import export meter. So if you're not using that solar power directly in your home or to charge the battery, the import export meter will be able to monitor that power going back to the grid and that way you can get credited on your bill. The export energy will be credited to your monthly bill in cents per kilowatt hour and this will offset any energy you purchase from the grid either at night or when you're using more power than your solar is producing. Lots of people assume when it comes to solar that a high buyback rate is really important but if you're a high self consumer or you have a battery you're going to be using most of the energy you produce and not sending much back to the grid so a high buyback rate isn't as important. On the other hand if you've got a large solar system and you end up sending a lot back to the grid, then a high buyback rate is going to be more important. People often focus on buyback rates, but what's more important to focus on is maximizing self-consumption. So you can do this by shifting your loads into the daytime so the solar feeds them directly, but you can also do this by installing a battery to manage your power. So an example of why self-consumption can be better is as follows. If you use a unit of energy at night to put your dishwasher on, you could be charged 30 cents per kilowatt hour. Instead, if you put your dishwasher on at midday when your solar power is going, it costs you nothing. You could have got 13 cents for the export, so the difference is 17 cents. You're 17 cents better off self-consuming rather than exporting solar and using power later. So what rates are on offer? It's worth noting that rates do change often and you can actually change energy retails through the lifetime of your solar system. So let's look at some of the key players and what rates they're offering at the start of 2024. Octopus came into the New Zealand market and disrupted things with one of the highest export rates we'd ever seen at 17 cents. This has since dropped to 13 cents, but it's worth noting that it's still one of the highest export rates you can get. Electric Kiwi offer 12 and a half cents. Contact offer eight cents. Meridian do actually offer 17 cents, but they lock you in for five years. Their standard plan, they'll give you 12 cents. So when considering your retail plan, you don't want to look at buyback rates in isolation. There are other factors to consider. You might want to look at variable plans. That's where retailers will give you different pricing for different times of the day. You can look at free hours of power available. You should look at peak rates and off peak rates. And you should also look at sustainability. For example, Ecotricity offer carbon zero electricity. So what plan works well for solar only? For solar only, you'd want to look at what night rates you could get and also what export rates you can get. With a battery, you'd probably want to consider a variable plan. You can use features like Tesla's time-based control, which allows your battery to buy power when it's cheap and your battery will then discharge when power is expensive, reducing your electricity bill overall. There is free resources such as PowerSwitch or Glimp, which allows you to jump online and compare retailers and rates in your area. When installing solar with us, it's part of a service we provide to help you find the best retailer. 